At EcoPost Recycling Factory Nairobi, Kenya's capital, workers are converting unwanted waste into fencing poles. Shredded plastic bags and bottles are fed into an extruder which melts and shapes the trash, producing environmentally friendly poles. The company was founded two years ago by Lorna Ruto, the director of the company, and her assistant Charles Kalama, who came up with a solution to create environmentally friendly product after they got fed up of seeing plastics literally open spaces and damaging the environment. Plastic does not rot and takes many years to disintegrate. In terms of our recycling, we withdraw in the region of about 40 metric tons of plastic every month. So far since we started, we've withdrawn as much as 300,000 metric tons. That is plastic that will be currently still be in the environment, still um, uh, clogging sewers, still um, littering streets. EcoPost collects the waste for recycling from Dandora dump site, a 30-acre piece of land piled high with garbage. All the waste produced by people living in Nairobi ends up here, about 2,000 tons daily. Environmentalists say the dump site should be relocated because it is emitting large amounts of lead that is sipping into the soil, contaminating the area's water supply. Kenya still lacks comprehensive garbage garbage management laws in order to dispose of its unwanted waste effectively. EcoPost makes use of only a tiny fraction of the total waste churned out, but the environmental benefit is also derived from plastic being an alternative to much needed timber. For every 10 posts we make, we actually save a fully matured cedar tree, which takes a very long time to grow. So far then, Number of posts we've sold is we've we've been able to save over six six thousand trees. The Giraffe Centre, a conservation education organisation in Nairobi that runs a breeding program for the endangered Rothschild giraffe, purchased poles from EcoPost to fence their 100 hectare sanctuary two years ago. Giraffe Centre chose to use the plastic poles because of um, <coughs> durability compared to the wood and posts. Uh, the plastic posts would last longer. Two, we also choose to use the plastic poles because they help to reuse what would otherwise have been waste huh? and in that way save um, the, the trees which we are trying to conserve. Thanks to high demand, EcoPost is able to create employment for 20 people working on the site. Many others make a living from selling plastic waste they collect to the company. This job has helped me because I can afford to pay school fees for my children and I now live in a better area than I used to. Since I came here, my life has changed because I can now manage, I can manage many things. I can rent my home, I can go any place that I want, I can live my life. EcoPost manufactures 150 poles per day, varying 6 and 10 feet in length. The company still operates below capacity as it relies on old equipment, but new machines will soon be acquired to boost production.